let's go here and let's record it here just for extra make sure we got this thing recorded all right okay this meeting is being recorded all right, you guys welcome to another episode of when doctors have no answers and i'm here with leslie platner um she comes from the world of the rn the nurse nursing and then went through um, homeopathy and matrix energetics and now she's with me in our um our healing group um doing big healing for our, our people atomic success secrets and um and i'm ralph havens physical therapist and a great manual therapist and what's what i've noticed leslie loves to say what wants to come through and <laughs> and um and what wants to come through for me now is i see so many people that have um a variety of conditions that um that we can help and it's it's you know concussions that keep happening over and over again um accidents that keep happening over and over again certain things in life that just aren't working a lot of physical conditions you know the chronic pain chronic fatigue um some of have diagnoses like autoimmune and and i want to um have let if you don't know leslie platner um i'll introduce her now and you can um i'd like to hear your thoughts because um as we were talking off screen the what wants to come through is really key and then the other part is um how we show up and so i want to give people real hope um so they know they really can heal and if something's going on even if it's been a long time even if you've been to a lot of practitioners even if you're getting some relief but you got to just keep going back and it's not really solving it um we found real hope so i'm going to give you what we found is the key and so leslie thank you for being here um, can you just tell us a little bit about um about you and um and then just i'd love to hear your thoughts about what wants to come through and this idea of what um is missing a lot of times in healing okay so hey rob thanks for <laughs> thanks for having me on again i'm always so glad, glad to have you here um yeah i'm glad, always glad to be with you um so we were talking earlier about um looking for what's the underlying cause whether it's mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, what's the underlying cause that keeps something in place? Like when, you know, you need constant adjustments, go to the chiropractor or um, acupuncturist or whatever, and you don't find that it's actually healing or helping. There's an underlying cause, there's a sustaining cause. And, you know, my training as a homeopath taught me to really listen to people and see the patterns that have been showing up since they were little kids and keep happening over and over and over again and so sometimes there's those patterns in place and those reasons why we can't heal and you know there's also like if we're not feeding ourselves well or we're not exercising or stretching or taking care of ourselves that way but sometimes we have an underlying belief or experience that doesn't really allow a change. And so we try and try and try and try and, and it just gets frustrating, like nothing changes. Or it's, like you said, better for a little bit, but it comes back. And so I think I've done this <laughs> energetic healing so long now that I trust that if I show up and I've done my own work, and I continue to work on myself and get rid of my sustaining um, beliefs and practices, <laughs> that something will show up. Something will show up. I make myself available for whatever wants to come through. And it's like those stuck places that are the underlying cause that, that keeps this in place, they do show up. They make themselves evident. and little by little we're you know we work with well you know because you do it all the time but through all the different processes peace process and all the other methods we connect with the part of the person that knows okay first i'm going to do that then i'm going to do that then i'm going to do that in order to clear this problem and it just i don't know it's kind of miraculous people have amazing experiences of freedom and abundance and health and being guided and directed. And we also, you and I get those, aha, well, it could be this or it could be that, or, or somebody shows up with the right book or the right information. So there's something about making ourselves available to
see when we when we see with when we meet with somebody what is meant in the moment to open up yeah and he mentioned a couple of things um that i think are very very key <clears throat> key one is that um you work on yourself and um and we talked off screen about this idea that as you work on yourself you get more and more of an open heart and um and there's a lot of access to this information that's out there that's in there that's in you that's in them as our hearts are open and um so one of the things that i, I get from this is that because you're um more and more and more in this open heart space and you're trusting and you're um then wanting you're seeing what wants to come through then you get the information and so in homeopathy the way i understand it is the information could be a, a remedy a little um teeny little pill with a bit of information on it, a little drop of water with a little information on it. And we've seen lives change from that healing and all sorts of things change in lives. And um, and then um, with matrix energetics, it's like there's a bit of information and that can come through in all sorts of ways. But when you touch it, then there can be an instantaneous shift. And with peace process, it's like we teach people to um, to go inside and find it for themselves. And when they find it and they sit with it, it um, it clears by putting some attention on it. And um, and then there's other times when it's like, well, you know, they've got this physical thing. And when we go and do a specific technique for the perfect thing, you know, like I have techniques for an artery. And if the problem has a, a tightness in an artery, like um, so I had somebody that had a pain, pain, numbness, arm. I sent them to the doctor to make sure they didn't have a heart attack and um, and got the okay that they didn't. But it was an artery behind their heart that just had some tension. And it could have been from the multiple sporting injuries that they had their whole life. Um, it always had like neck and back pain. and um, But now it turned into a severe thing. It, but whatever reason, we, uh, we worked on the actual physical thing in their chest and back and it cleared the um the pain in the arm situation um so um so what i want to explore a little bit is this idea because it's like i've seen so many people that are um using things but they have to keep going back and it keeps not really um healing up and then there's these patterns like um people, this used to be me i used to be in accidents all the time and um, it wasn't until i found the cause of that and I can talk about that in another episode. But once I found it, no more accidents. I don't even have to knock on wood, but you know, part of no. me thinks, uh oh, um, you should knock on wood just to be sure. But um, but you know, that shifted. And um, and then there was another bit of time, these are totally not physical type situations, but I used to have a crazy situation that all my girlfriends and my ex-wife, they all cheated on me. And I'm like, what's that all about? Well, there's one common denominator and when I found where that was and cleared right. that, then um, no more. And you know, awesome wife, perfect life uh, with with that. So, um, so can you talk? Is there anything else people need to know that they have? There is real healing hope, and if it can, if something is going on, there is a way to solve it. Um, and I think we're talking about um, finding the, the the information, like what wants to come through, and then it can be like. In some cases, you do need a chiropractic adjustment or a change in diet. Other cases, it's like there's a mental emotional thing. But anything else we want to talk about with um, this idea of like healing and finding where the key is for somebody? Yeah. So the thing about the open heart, less resistance, less judgment, more self-love, more love of other people and more trust that that there is something that wants to come through and that I don't have to know it already. That if I'm in that space of wanting to be of service and wanting to help the person get to the core issue, if it's the time for that, sometimes I think it's not the time, but like if, it, if this were to change, then something else would happen. You know, sometimes we're in a holding pattern, but trusting that Trusting that I'm present for whatever wants to come through in this moment, then it's incredible to me how it shows up. And like you said, 
whether it's matrix energetics or homeopathy, something happens where the body, the mind, the soul receive the information it needs in order to change. Like in matrix, yeah. you know, when you do the two point, uh -huh. two point is where in the whole universe is the information that can upgrade this situation. Like when you download a new program, you know, then onto a computer, then you have new information, then things can change. Like people suddenly, I haven't had somebody, ha this happened to a client of mine, but I know it happens that people maybe have cancer and suddenly they heal. Well, how did their body get that information to, to stop producing cancer and start producing healthy cells? It is based on some type of information that comes in or energy that comes into the body, the mind, the spirit that allows the change. And that's what's so much fun to me is being part of that process and seeing yeah. people, their lives open up. They're, you know, they have this problem with addiction or they have, um, you know, all of a sudden they can sleep better or all of a sudden they find they can study or pay attention or they start healing or their, you know, their pain goes away. That's it's a pretty miraculous thing. Yeah. yeah, how does that yeah. happen? It's pretty miraculous. Yeah, so what I think we can do is, um, I'm gonna highlight this so I can timestamp it later, healing session. So um, this is one part of what, um, what we use and so you know it's it's um i want people to know that there's a lot more that can be done to find your key that's the key information to help you heal um i want to um, have everybody have a, a healing experience that wants to and um and i'm going to timestamp this so that we can have people go right to it and what i'd like to do is have everybody um that wants to just test how you feel you know walk around, see how your feet are on the ground, bend, um, move. And, um, and, then, um, and then we'll do something um, that Leslie talked about, which is that open heart, that open heart healing. And, um, and then you can see if anything's different. And perhaps you'll be guided to your, your bit of information that's the key for you. And of course, reach out to us if you, if you want our help with that. So um, Leslie, let's just go straight to um, whatever you want to call that, the open heart, the matrix energetics experience, um, the instant miracle, whatever that is. Um, how about we just do that now? Okay, I'll just say what wants to come through. For everyone's highest, best experiences of love and energy and abundance and health and fulfillment, and service and connections, relationships. Ooh. Clearing anything that's no longer useful, any pattern, any thought, any behavior, any belief, any adaptation that's no longer useful. And if you'd like to learn more about how um, different ways to um, open your heart, to access whatever this can be called, matrix energetics experience, instant miracle experience, there's all sorts of people that have coined um, names for this. Ultimately, I think it's what uh, Leslie talked about, the open heart. So if you like, you can retest how you feel, how you walk, how you move. You just notice what you notice that's different. Um, it might be easy to um, discount it and to say, well, it couldn't have been from that. Or if some miracle happens um, immediately after this session and you get a call that's an unexpected miracle or some kind of unexpected abundance comes in or um, somebody else heals, you know, you might just consider that um, it was one of those unexpected miracles it happens when you um, open your heart. So um, I invite you to, to try it. Notice what you notice. Um, if you like it, share it. The world sure needs this. 
And, um, you know, wherever you see this, subscribe, because um, if we can reach people and they know that there's real hope, that's that's what Leslie and I are up to. So um, so give it a try. I'm going to, um, it'll be a little timestamp when it shows up on um, the YouTube and Spotify and Rumble and everywhere else we put this. It's on Facebook now. And um, and thank you, Leslie, for, for being here. Yeah. You know, the thing about the open heart is it's coming out of fear because when we're in fear, we close our heart down. And, and when we when we open our heart back up again, it allows such a different experience of connection and joy and happiness. And I, I had such an amazing experience this morning that I told you about, you know, that of being wondering if I actually had a capacity or knowledge to help someone. And I just sat with that and I felt my how it felt in my body and I said some prayers and I, you know, I focused on them and I felt the whole energy shift. And then like 10 minutes later, I had a phone call with somebody and they said, just, you know, well, have you ever heard of this book? Have you ever heard of this breathing? Have you ever heard of this or that? And I'm like, oh, there's the perfect answer. Like, it, it's amazing how what wants to come through. <laughs> it really is. I think that is the key. You say that so much. and. That seems to be it. I think what wants to come through is the answer, the key, yeah. the information, and um, and just noticing it has a huge shift, and you can get real things to do in the physical world. Well, good deal. Well, I think this is a good piece to to call it. I'll go ahead and um, in the recording, and then chat with you in a little bit, and reach out. Let us know if you need any help. Um, and again, if you found it useful, um, subscribe, share. We really um want to help heal ourselves heal you and heal the world so um so thank you thank you for being here okay let's see that's off and and that one's off the recording has stopped okay i think we're all good that felt pretty good, Leslie. I think we're gonna just work on our message because we've got, um, with all the stuff we've studied, it's the same principle, what wants to come through. And sometimes it's a physical thing to do. Sometimes it's a, um, it's a just by the time you notice it, it's done. Sometimes it's like really getting into that peace process. So um, Interesting. that's our message. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Leslie. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how this one goes. I'll share everything in just a second. And um, okay. I'm going to yeah, I'll, I'll I'll see you tomorrow. I'll put it on Facebook. Yeah, right. Okay. And thanks for thanks for um, moving. I Next week is um, spring break. So okay, yeah. okay, cool. okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. See you.